Broy here. So on to the next thing in the extension, which is a uh, new floor. So last time, uh, fix that leaky stopcock down there. Uh, and out here, as we've got animals, this one and this one, I want some easy to clean floor down here. So for now, I'm gonna put some lino down. Before I do that, um, I've got this jazzer out, so I can just trim the bottom of the skirting off. There's some lovely panelling on the walls and parts of this room. Just trim the bottom of that up a little bit, just so I can tuck the lino underneath. Yes, shouldn't take too long. Okay, so three mil spacer. So we'll put that on there, that on there, and cut away. There we go, I've been all the way around, trimmed the bottom of this beautiful wood panelling and skirting board over there. I've just been around the floor and scraped off any high spots that might pierce a hole in the lino. Quick hoover up and now we are ready to tackle the lino. I think I'm going to start with this edge here. This is the only edge I can't tuck under something. So I'm going to have to run the line out up to this, up to this wall. So I think I'll start on this long edge and then work my way around somewhere. Cool, let's give it a go. This is going to be a struggle, I think. Oh my God, this is heavy. Oh. Sweaty Bessie, it's 26 degrees today, and that was, uh, that was hard work. I tried to roll out in the lounge a bit, didn't really know what I was doing. This is very heavy, it's 4.4 meters long by three meters wide. It was the end of a roll, so got a good dealio on it. Uh, yeah. Over here, might have marked it a little bit. It's a bit annoying, but you can't really see it that much. Okay, I've just twisted it around more this way, just to get a straighter line with the uh, the faux parquet flooring. Uh, yeah, dragged it that way a bit. Got a couple of lines, uh, cans of spray adhesive recommended by the retailer um, and then to get a straight line along this edge I'm not entirely sure how to do that so it doesn't look like a horror show so I might use this aluminium threshold as a straight edge to 
try and help me with that. Anyway, enough waffle, let's get to it. All right, had a quick look at some heroes doing this on YouTube. And they seem to cut the excess off first and then uh, work their way closer for that final cut. For me, that's probably gonna mean about 100 cuts. Oops, shoot. That's this edge done by my cowboy standards. Stand back a bit, looks perfect. Up close, not so much. Yeah, look, wee, shaky jake. Yeah, not great. I tried to cut along this threshold as a straight edge. Didn't really work that well. Not sure how the pros do it. Using this straight edge was better on top. But anyway, let's carry on. Uh, I'm probably gonna glue down this edge just so the whole lino doesn't move. And then carry on with the rest. First proper corner coming up. 
all this on the YouTube. Bit of paper, bit of double-sided tape. Push the lino down. Hopefully a bit of paper sticks. That's my corner. I can cut along there. Now turn him back now. When I've got the edge tucked under, I think that'll be decent. Okay, I've cut in that edge. Didn't go very well. I'd say the smooth is the the wall, not the smooth. The wall is not very smooth. You can see that chunk's missing here and stuff, and it dips in there and there. So we'll see. This door's almost always open. It covers half of that. <laughs> Might put a little bit of trim just along the bottom of that wall, just to cover that the edge, because it's not great. Yeah, cowboys are us. Let's continue. That was a little bit awkward with the door in situ. Just butted up against the old lino. So, when the threshold is in place, it will look like that. Tucked under the door frame nicely. Let's get rid of that. Tucked under the skirting and door frame nicely there. So, it's more of the same. You whip up my appetite. Righty ho, we are finished. Look at that. Lovely jubbly. All cut in. Looking good. First edge there. Not great. All tucked under nicely. 
threshold back on, all looking nice. All tucked under here nicely, under here very nice. Now I did make one mistake. I tried cutting a bit off the back whilst it was tucked under. You can see I've got a cut line there, but you can only see if you get down on your hands and knees. All tucked under the panelling nicely. All under that door frame nicely. Under here. Nice corner there, lovely. All tucked under here nicely. And then all underneath the radiator pipes there. And here's a final shot of this edge. It's not brilliant, but it's okay. I am no flooring expert, so that'll do for me. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Took me about five hours all in, taking off the old stuff, trimming all the paneling, uh, and slowly but surely fitting the new flooring. Um, yeah. I'd recommend if you're using a multi-tool to cut the paneling down there, try and use something quite nice and long. I was using a small spacer, made it really awkward to cut the paneling. Um, yeah, with the knife, make sure your blade is super sharp, take your time. Um, and if you're not sure, call in a pro. I think if I had a room where I couldn't hide the lino under the skirting and panelling, I'd probably get a pro to do it, or if I had to, buy some trim to go around the edge just to hide the cut edge. Um, or maybe use a little bit of silicone just to tidy up that edge, one of the two. Anywho, that's enough for today. <sighs> Subscribe, like if you want to, and uh, cheerios! Ultimate test. Does the doggo like it? Bronte, come in. Ooh. Does it smell nice? Does it smell nice? Bronte, we're giving it a lick. Does that mean it's good? <whistles> Used. Ooh, getting excited. Very excited. What you doing? Was that good? Do you like your floor? Yes, I think you do.